Hey guys, so I hope you're all right today. I thought that I would do my first tag video because I haven't done one yet and there's just so many fun tags to do in like the YouTube world and I'm going to start with the 7 Deadly Sins of Beauty tag. I just think it's really fun and I've really enjoyed watching everyone else's. So I've got my little notebook here with all the questions written in and I'm going to just work through them and show you what my answers are. So first one is greed and it is what is your most inexpensive beauty item, what is your most expensive? So for inexpensive it's definitely my MUA lipsticks and I bought my two favourite colours down. This one is my absolute favourite and this is in Nectar and these are one pound which is absolutely crazy. I'm going to swatch it for you. Oh, it's done kind of two. Um, yeah, that's Nectar, and that is like the most gorgeous coral colour. I've worn that so much, as you can kind of tell. And the other one that I really like is Juicy, which is kind of a pinky coral. It's that one there. And that is also absolutely gorgeous. And you know what? They smell so, so nice. Like, they kind of smell like a MAC lipstick would smell, a really, really gorgeous scent, which is so surprising for one pound. Like, run out to MUA and buy all the lipsticks. Like, <laughs> so good. Okay, and most expensive is definitely my Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay, which my lovely boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day. Um, this is £36 which seems like quite a lot to maybe people that aren't kind of into makeup and it is, it is quite a lot of money but considering the amount of eyeshadows you get and how long it will last you um, I think it's money well spent and I love this palette very much so that is good okay so next question is number two, Wrath what beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? what has been the hardest to get? so love-hate relationship is eyelashes like false eyelashes um because I absolutely love how they look so for like nights out and stuff I think they're really cool and they make your eyelashes look in like incredible but I also hate them because I find them really hard to apply really well so like when I do apply them I get really stressed out and then like if I've done all the, like my eyeshadow and my mascara and my eyeliner and then I'm just putting the eyelashes on sometimes it doesn't go right and it ruins the eye makeup I've already done and then I just have to like start over so for a while now I've gone without them um, but I do like how they look and uh, what was the other question? what has been the hardest to get? Okay, for this, I couldn't really think of any that I had in my collection that were really, really hard to get hold of. But I can think of one that I'm trying to get hold of now that I literally can't. And it is the Sleek Blush by 3 palette in Lace. And you probably know what the one I mean. Um, they've got like quite a few different shades, but Lace is kind of the famous one. And it's sold out online. It's never ever in Superdrug at any of the Sleek stands. And I don't even know how I'm going to get it. So if you know how you know, if there's a seller or something that is selling the uh, Lace Sleep Palette, then let me know because I really, really want it and I just can't get hold of it. Okay, number three, Gluttony. What are your most delicious beauty products? This is quite easy as well because it is my Soap and Glory Body Butter because it smells absolutely gorgeous, like just divine, as does all of the soap and glory range so i love putting that on my skin and also oh where is it there it is <laughs> i was hiding um it's my vaseline in cocoa butter and i prefer this to the creme brulee one like, this is far more delicious because it smells like toffee or chocolate really really gorgeous smell and i love putting this on my lips because even though you don't like taste the flavor you can kind of you can kind of taste it and um, it's just really yummy and it's the kind of my favorite vaseline of all of them right uh sloth what beauty products do you neglect due to laziness and um, i've actually got them here they are my simple cleansing lotion and toner and i don't neglect these all the time i've kind of gone back to doing a bit more of a thorough skin regime recently um, and I always use these in the morning with my cotton pads but then in the night I know you're supposed to do it again when you go to bed so I take my makeup off with like my facial wipes and then if it's too late or if I'm already in bed or if I just can't be bothered I just won't do it again 
and then I wake up in the morning and do it and still clearly have quite a lot of makeup left on my face and feel a bit guilty so I definitely do neglect these due to laziness um, but you know I do use them once a day so yeah skincare is probably the thing I can be a bit of a lazy cleanser sometimes especially like sometimes I take my makeup off without looking in a mirror and I'm just like oh, I'll be fine and I wake up and I've got like a black smudge here and like mascara here so yeah I really need to be a bit more on it with that um, number five is pride and it's what beauty product gives you the most self confidence and this is foundation because I think if you have a good foundation like a good base then the rest of your makeup looks a lot better and there's no point having like foundation that's patchy and then really great eye makeup or whatever and also like if your foundation matches the rest of your body perfectly that always makes me really happy and it's the thing you worry most about in photos after nights out it's like oh, am I going to have ghost face or is, is that going to look good um, and I thought I'd just show you my two favourites well I've just scattered everything around um, my two favourites in the moment are the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation and serum which I do go on about quite a lot so apologies for that but this one I use in kind of more uh, slightly heavy coverage, not heavy coverage, but heavier coverage. So this is like a medium coverage foundation. Um, use that on most days really um, for uni and like nights out, that's really good. But this one's a really good summery foundation because it's a bit lighter. Um, you can't feel it as much on the skin. Um, and they're both quite dewy, but this one's probably a bit more dewier. So I really am enjoying both of those and they give me quite a lot of confidence. Uh, I think, oh yeah, I wanted to say as well, if I could have like, one more it'd be mascara so if I could have two products to do my whole face with I'd do foundation and mascara because I think that's the thing that defines your eyes the most but I know it's kind of a bit cheating so number six is lust and it's what attributes do you find the most attractive in the opposite sex and this is like the most random question to put in a makeup video I think everyone said like oh this is a really random question but it is um it's so, okay what do I find most attractive well I really like height, so like if a guy is tall, my boyfriend's very tall, um, that's really attractive. And nice hair as well, like long hair or just like nicely styled hair is always good. And then like personality wise, just someone that can make me feel like nice and comfortable um, and make me laugh, I suppose. Just a general nice guy. So yeah, that's um, really irrelevant for this video really. <laughs> um, envy what items would you most like to receive as a gift and this is kind of a really big question for me because as you know like I do mainly talk about drugstore products because I'm not on the biggest budget I'm a student and so like basically anything from my high-end wish list I'm such a geek sometimes I have a high-end wish list in here um, <laughs> just so you know when I have the money I'll go buy it or like get given it as a gift so like a few things from that would be like the Gemma Kid Light as Air Foundation I really want to try. Nars Laguna, I've heard so much about it and I just want it. Um, Benefit Coralie's to blush, I'd quite like that. Uh, the Cordially Beauty Elixir, I went to look on that like to see if I could buy it the other day and it was like 20 something pound and I was a bit like, mm, it's a bit much for a toner. Um, I swear I wrote something else down. Ah uh, yeah, and any MAC lipsticks, but particularly Shy Girl and Hue, like those are all on my high-end wish list. So um, if anyone's watching and give me a gift, like there's some nice hints for you. Oh, and perfume, like always perfume, because I hate buying perfume for myself. It feels like a bit of a weird thing to buy for yourself. So I, I tend to get that as like gifts for birthday and Christmas and then try and make the bottles last throughout the year. So yeah, that is my seven deadly sins of beauty tag. I hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Um, yeah if you've like done one of these please do like link it below i'd love to have a watch of it and uh yeah subscribe rate comment all of those things check out my blog and i'll see you in my next video bye guys